Hello, uh, today we are going to see the human uh, eye, so we will focus only the main parts, on the main parts of the human uh, eye. Uh, so, our eye is concerned with vision. Our eye are organs of vision consisting of light receptors. These receptors are responsible to connect our eye with our nervous system. Let's see the eyeball. Our eyeball is, which is made up of three layers. These three layers are sclera, choroid, and uh, retina. So the first one is sclera, which is outer and protective layer of our eye. We can find this sclera at the front of the eye, and which is white in color, which is transparent to light, which is very important to clean the surface of the eye, since it is lubricant. And the second layer is choroid. And this choroid found between sclera and retina, which contain blood vessels. So it is responsible to nourish or to provide nourishment to sclera. In addition to sclera, it is also responsible to supply blood to the retina. The third layer of the eyeball is retina, which is sensitive to light, and this layer we can find at the back of the eye lens, which is made up of light-sensitive cells, and it contains two layers called cones and rods. Cones, it has cone shape, that's why we call it cones, which is sensitive to bright light. A living organism that do have much cones, they are so active at daytime, or they are so active at to, 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 at bright light. That's why we say uh, cones, they are sensitive to bright light. When we see the next one is, or the other layer is called rods. It has rod shape, that's why we call it rods, which is sensitive to dim light. A living organism uh, that do have much rods they are active at night time especially those nocturnal animals they are so active at night time so a living organism that do have much rods they are sensitive to dim light the other structures of the retina are macula and fovea macula is a yellow spot found on the small central area of the retina that surround the fovea. This support us to have detailed vision. The next structure is fovea. Fovea is found at the central pit in the macula and this one is also uh, produce sharp vision or support us to have very clear vision. Let's see the other parts of our eye, including their dentitions. Iris. Iris is found at the back of the cornea that gives color to the eye. The role of this part of our eye is to regulate the amount of light that enter to the inner part of our eye. So this part of our eye regulates the amount of light by just being constricted and dilate it constricted at bright light and then when we be at dim light it dilate the next one is people this part of our eye found at the center of the iris which supports to regulate the amount of light and People become big at dim light, and when we be at bright line, it will be small. Lens, lens found behind the iris. Its role is to focus 
on light and this part of our eye uses to transmit lens to retina so generally lens support the formation of image on the retina next one is cornea this one is the front part of the sclera which is transparent to light its role is to let light rays enter the eye and also it converges the light rays <clears throat> see larry muscle it is a ring like structure that attached to the iris it involved in lens accommodation and control the intraocular pressure and this helps to shape the lens so generally we can say that this structure helps the eye lens to change its focal lens optic nerve a nerve that carries nerve impulses to the brain so generally this nerve is responsible to connect our eye with the central nervous system blind spot a region of it, it is one the other part of our eye that contain the optic nerve which is not completely sensitive to light alcas hemor this one is a space that filled with transparent fluid and found between cornea and the eye lens vitreous hemor this is also it, it is filled with transparent fluid that found between lens and retina the, the last one is eyelid which provide to control the amount of light falling on the eye and also it is responsible to control the eye from any dust particles so let's uh, summarize uh, the main parts of the human eye the eyeball has three layers choroid uh, sclera and retina the outer and protective layer is called the sclera next to sclera we find choroid which is responsible to nourish the sclera and supply uh, uh, blood to uh, retina the retina is also uh, which is re so sensi sensitive to light uh, and then the front part of the sclera is also we call it the cornea which is transparent to light next to cornea we find iris which is responsible to regulate the amount of eye the amount of i mean light at the center of iris also we find people next to people we find a lens and at the back of lens also we find retina which is sensitive to uh, light so uh, when we see a space between uh, cornea and lens there is a space which is filled with transparent fluid called aqueous humor and a space between what we call it uh, uh, the, the lens and the retina which is filled with other transparent uh, fluid called vitreous humor uh, and also we uh, we find uh, on the retina a small spot called macula uh, this one supports us to have a clear vision at the center of the macula also there is a uh, fovea and this one is also responsible to have or support us to have a clear vision detailed vision and uh, uh, we find also what we call it the blind spot that contain optic nerve which is not sensitive uh, completely to light and within the blind spot uh, as i told you before that means there is a, an optic nerve which is very very important to carry nerve impulses or to carry information from eye to to the nervous system so this is all about for today. thank you for watching and for uh, listening